Hello everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament YouTube channel. Today we'll be exploring IYPT 2019 problem number 5, filling up a bottle. This is the 6th video in our series about the IYPT 2019 problems. If you like our videos, please hit the like button down below, and if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button down below. The problem statement asks us to fill up the bottle with a vertical water jet. The easiest way that you can achieve this is by using the faucet at home. The materials that we will use are a bottle and some type of sound recording device. Your faucet at home can create water jets that are laminar and turbulent. You just have to adjust it so that it fits each of the flow regimes. When the flow is laminar, your jet will be very thin and this thin jet would eventually break up into small water droplets as the length that it travels increases. A jet that is in the turbulent flow regime, however, will be much wider, and from this jet, you can see some surface waves starting to form as it falls through the air. This observation can be explained by one of two reasons. First, the water jet might be pumped by a pump that uses alternating current, and this might cause there to be an inconsistency in the flow rate of the jet. But even if the jet has a stable flow rate, you will still see the jet breaking up into smaller droplets because of the Rayleigh plateau instability. The surface tension of the water will pull itself together so that it forms these water droplets, because in the droplet form, it has the least amount of surface area and therefore the least amount of surface energy. In the case of an extremely thin water jet, you can clearly hear the droplets when it hits the bottom of the bottle. I believe this is one of the mechanisms that causes the excitation so that the sound can be heard. As the bottle is filled up, you can hear a change in the properties of the sound. I believe you can also obtain different audio signatures by using a bottle that is shaped differently or water that is of a different temperature. A good tool that you can use to analyze the sound is your smartphone. You just have to download a spectrum analyzer and from there you can see the exact frequencies that were produced during the experiment. Here are some of my experimental results. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe down below, and please stay tuned for the weekly IYPT videos. Bye!